Hello kids! I am Abby Jennifer, or you can call me Abby Jen. So welcome to our Bible True Stories. For our story for today, we're going to talk about Queen Esther, the brave and beautiful Queen of Persia. Now to begin with, let's read in Esther chapter 4 verse 14. And who knows but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this. Once, in the city of Susa, the capital of Persia, great King Xerxes gave a banquet in honor of his governors. As the banquet went on, King Xerxes called for Vashti, the queen. Place the royal crown on Vashti's head. Bring her to me, commanded the king, for she was very beautiful. Gustong iparada ni King Sirsas ang kanyang napakagandang asawa na si Queen Vashti. Pero anong nangyari? Let's find out. When Queen Vashti refused to come, the king was very angry. Oh no! Alright, so Queen Vashti refused the king. Alam naman natin, kids, right? Ang utos ng hari, hindi pwedeng mabali. Then, Queen Vashti refused. So, he sent Vashti away and ordered a nationwide search for a new queen. Hmm, goodbye, Queen Vashti! <laughs> Alright, now there was a Jewish man named Mordecai, who also lived in Persia. He had a beautiful cousin named Esther. Wow! Alright, so it says here, beautiful cousin. And who is she? Yes, she is Esther. Now, in obedience to the king's order, Esther was taken to the king's palace. Mordecai asked Esther to tell no one that she was Jewish. When the king saw Esther, he loved her. He set the royal crown on her head and made her a new queen. Oh, now one day, Mordecai was sitting at the king's gate waiting to see Esther. He heard two soldiers planning to kill the king. Mordecai told Esther, who in turn told the king. Mordecai has told me of a plot to kill you, my king, said Esther. The king had the two men arrested and they were found guilty. So, Mordecai had saved the king's life and it was written down in the history books. After this, King Xerxes honored Haman by making him second in command of Persia. Hmm. Now Haman was a very proud man. Mayabang! Hmm. Now Haman, at the king's order, everyone was to bow before him. Mayabang talaga si Haman! But Mordecai would bow to no one except the Lord. This angered Haman. So, gusto ni Haman lahat. Pero may nag-iisa na ayaw magbow sa kanya because Mordecai says, I will only bow to my Lord. Now, when he later found out that Mordecai was an Israelite, he began to look for a way to destroy them all. So, hindi lang si Mordecai. Sabi niya, ah, Israelite ka pala, ha? Sige, I will destroy not only you, but also your people. Mm. Now then, he came up with an evil plan. Sadyang, mayabang, at nakapag-isip pa siya ng hindi magandang plano para kay Mordecai. Hmm. 
Now when Mordecai heard about Haman's evil plan, he sent word to Esther, Perhaps God has made you queen of Persia for such a time as this. Maybe he will use you to save his people. Then Esther sent word back to Mordecai, Gather all the Jews in Susa and pray for three days. Though it is against the law for me to go to the king, I will do so. Pray that the king will have mercy and stop Haman's evil plan. Mordecai did as Esther asked. Okay, now Esther. When she learned about Haman's evil plan, now she asked for the people or for the Jews to pray, pray for three days. Now on the third day, Esther prepared a banquet and only invited the king and Haman. Hmm, what for? Let's find out more. Now what can I do for you? The king asked. Name it and it will be done. Esther spoke. Will you and Haman come tomorrow to another special banquet? Then I will tell you both. So sa first banquet na hinanda ni Esther para kay Haman at King, hindi pa niya sinabi kaysa hari kung ano talaga yung uh, dahilan kung bakit siya nag-prepare for a banquet for Haman and for the king. Mm. Now what happens next? As Haman left, he again passed Mordecai at the gate. Again, Mordecai refused to bow. Haman, in his anger, decided to start building the place where Mordecai would be executed. Okay, so pag galit na galit talaga ang tao, no? kahit anong hindi maganda, ay naiisip na gawin. At hindi lamang basta inisip, ginawa rin niya yung sa tingin niya ay makakaplease sa kanya. Now that night, as the king was reading the history book, he discovered he had not honored Mordecai for saving his life. He called Haman and said, I want to honor a special man. What should I do? Hmm. Haman thought he was the man to be honored. Oh, asya meron naman itong si Haman. Feeling niya siya yung i-honor ng king. Alright, so he said, Let him wear the royal robe and be put on the king's horse and lead him through the city proclaiming, The king is honoring this man. So, Haman was asked to honor Mordecai in this way. So, gulat na gulat si Haman. Hindi pala siya ang i-honor ng king. Now, Haman was very furious, okay? Because he assumed, okay, that uh, the king will honor him. Now, later, Haman and the king went to dine with Esther. What is your request? Tell me, and it shall be yours, said the king to Esther. O oh, king, spare me and the life of my people. Spare you? You are queen, said the king. Yes, said Esther. But I am also a Jew, and there is a man in the kingdom who wants to kill all of the Jews. Ito na ang pinakahihintay natin sa kwento ni Esther, ni Haman, ni Mordecai, at ng king. So, who is this man? asked the king. Haman, she replied. He is an evil man. The king was furious and that night, Haman was hanged on the very gallows. Take note, he had built for Mordecai. God's people were saved. Amen and amen. So, 
as you all know, evil plans will not be prevailed because God always works on His people. So God's people, once again, were saved. Thanks, God. Now, our Bible truth for this day, kids, I will kneel and pray to God alone. Again, kids, say it with me. I will kneel and pray to God alone. Always to remember to pray to the Lord our God. That is our story for today. Thank you everyone for listening. I'll see you again soon. Bye!